Okay, big steps forward in battery pack design for the Planet Junior cultivating tractor, which, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot more useful as an electric cultivating tractor with a battery pack. Now I went to the grocery store and my friends at Farnham Breweries forced my hand and decided on the form factor by packing ammo cans full of beer, which is just hilarious. So uh, a couple days later, pack is uh, pretty well advanced. I'm down to the last beer, so um, better get this done. So these are uh, 26650 cells, lithium iron phosphate. This pack is uh, 8S for 24 volt nominal and they're grouped in sets of 11. Um, doesn't really matter. So the two pieces are makeup. Oop, oop, oop. Come on. Somewhere here there's a piece of foam. Okay. Fill that gap. Yep. And this actually fits in there. I'm gonna have to do uh, some of the stuffing it in the box off camera on account of I don't have a tripod handy. It's just a quick view of the uh, underside of the pack before it goes in. Um, given that this uh, box is metal, and metal is a good conductor, I've taken extra care to make sure that absolutely everything is double protected and now I'm wrapping the whole pack in uh, uh, EPDM rubber that I had kicking around and then this other piece of foam to kind of cushion it there's a raised section on the inside of the pardon me on the inside of the ammo can and that's what that cut out is for so uh, the next step, I believe, is to stuff the ammo can down on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do that one-handed while holding the camera. But once it's in there, everything's pretty well insulated and secure. I'll stuff it in. All right, here we go. Went in smoothly, so it's got a rubber kind of surround on all five sides, yeah, four sides in the bottom. And it's also got the foam padding on the bottom in both ends. And it is, uh, you know, it's, it's exceedingly tight. Um, it takes a significant amount of effort to get it in or out. So I think uh, it's all good. So there are, this is main positive from one end of one half of the sandwich. And then this is the main negative from the other. And uh, so with those two leads, I currently showing like 27 volts or something. And then there are balance leads that run down to each point in the pack. So there's one to B minus here. And then that one says B1, B2, B3. So that the BMS, um, when it arrives in the mail, or maybe I'll just put in a an active balancer for now because I think I have one of those but with this amount of wiring I can run everything through a BMS in the interim I might just uh, put in a fuse and an active balancer and a switch in order to be able to test it but my goal is to build a pack that will uh, be able to push about uh, I think the BMS I ordered is uh, like a hundred amps peak more or less, um, 60 amp continuous, something like that. It's far more power than than this motor should be able to pull, but I figured as long as I'm going to build a pack, I might as well make it um, capable of also standing in for um, the packs that go in the BCS and then the pallet jiggers and stuff even though it'll have less capacity. So, that's what it ought to look like. It's a pretty good fit. About the same size as the motor. The motor still needs a bit of a surround. 
but uh, yeah, got to build cover for the motor. The rest of the parts are sitting in a box here. Controller, emergency stop button, throttle. Still lots to do, but thanks, Farnham folks. I'm gonna try to get to the grocery store before they sell out and buy another one of those so I can make a second pack. I think it looks lovely.